Hey, what is up guys? It is King Alpha here and welcome back everyone to a brand new video. We're back on the computer today on my brand new and man, I'm loving this thing so much. It's absolutely amazing. But today I'm going to be showing you guys how to download and actually play shader packs and like extra packs and stuff like that on Minecraft or Mac. So I actually made a video uh, just like this not too long ago for Windows and it did pretty well on the channel but now that I've switched over to Mac you know my new computer is a Mac uh, it's pretty much the same but obviously the whole system is different so it actually took me a little while to find out how to do this so I'm gonna be bringing you guys a video on how to do this if you're going to enjoy the video make sure to drop a like on it sub to the channel if you guys are new you guys have been showing so much support recently thank you all for showing all that support I absolutely love each and every single one of you guys and also make sure to turn on notifications so you guys don't miss out on any future tutorials just like this one all right so without further ado let's hop into it so first things first obviously you're going to need a texture pack so for instance i'm going to be downloading this a faithful texture pack it's 128 by 128 so i'm assuming you guys already have a texture pack in mind that you want to download or or a shader pack or anything so go ahead and go ahead and download it uh, just like so we're gonna go ahead and do all this stuff it's gonna take us through um, the normal stuff here it's one of these stupid stuff here um, a little tip usually what you can do you actually have to sus I'm already subscribed what do you want me to do unsubscribe subscribe Okay, unlock download link. There we go. I hate people that do that. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and download this, just like so. I was subscribed to him. I actually like a lot of his um, a lot of his videos. So honestly, shout out to this guy. This guy has a lot of um, uh, a lot of really good texture packs. If you guys um, if you guys um, you know, are looking for some good texture packs. Honestly, go here and, uh, and get one of his texture packs. They're really good. Anyway, so now that we've downloaded it, I'll go ahead and drag it over here. And we can go ahead and just get rid of this. We don't need this. So uh, go ahead and open this. We'll go ahead and um, unzip this. Now, Lord, thank God. I don't even know what I just said. But um, Matt comes with a default uh, zip opener, whatever you would call it absolutely fantastic windows didn't have that and dude it made it so difficult to try to do this stuff but dude mac instant i'm i've seen people say that there's a way to set it up to where when you download a zip file automatically it does that but i don't want to set that up uh because there's some zip files i don't want to be on zip so i just do it manually i mean it's just literally like two clicks of a button right click and then open and then click uh but now how do you get this on your minecraft well go ahead and go to the finder here it's going to open up this um, and go ahead and click go and if you don't see library show up click uh, home and then come here right click show view options and then make sure show library folder is uh, checked if it's not checked then you won't see library right here where my uh, my mouse is at you won't see this um, so make sure this is checked and if it's not checked go ahead and check it close this out and you'll see library here Go ahead and open this, go to application support, go down to Minecraft, it's going to be towards the bottom. Go ahead and open this file. And then from here, if you have a shader pack, go ahead and put your shader packs here. Now, obviously, you're going to need to download OBS and stuff like that. If you guys want a separate tutorial for the shader packs, I usually do a separate tutorial because it is a little bit different. If you guys want a separate tutorial uh, for the shader packs, go ahead and leave a like on this video, five likes, and I will do a tutorial on how to get shader packs specifically but pretty easy same thing just go ahead and drop your files in here and you'll be a good to go i can actually go ahead and get rid of these two actually i do not want this one anymore here we go beautiful all right so uh we're gonna be doing a resource pack so here's a little bit different thing right uh when it comes to resource packs and texture packs uh minecraft bedrock edition uh, and even Java Edition on the, well, Bedrock Edition is different, you can just open it, but still in the file locations. Uh, even on Java Edition on Windows, there was a resource packs and a texture pack. There's two different ones. Uh, but here on Mac, luckily it's a lot more simple. There's not a texture pack, as you can see, or a resource pack one. They're all in the same. 
So go ahead, just open up your resource packs, go ahead and drag your texture pack file in there. And you can go ahead and close out of that. Go ahead and launch up Minecraft. And as you guys will see, I will have access to the texture pack. So let's go ahead and load in. And how do you guys like my background? This is a screenshot I took myself actually. Funny enough, uh, I'm, I love, dude, this computer is absolutely amazing. So I actually have the Conquest texture pack on right now. I'll have to take that off uh, once we get in game. But dude, I'm, like I said, I'm loving this computer so far. Uh, make sure to check out the video. Um, I talked about the computer more in depth. It's time to tell you guys a little bit of the backstory. And then also make sure you guys check out the trailer for my brand new Minecraft series that we're going to be starting soon. I'm super excited for and can't wait. And not wait again. That is coming out March the 25th is when the series is going to be starting. I click something. Game. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let's just let's just go into this world. I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay. So, uh, so we'll have to take off this texture pack here in my shader pack. Um. So let's go and take this one off. And as you can see, this one is here now. This is um for one point. Uh, 16 on on 1.16.5 so it's gonna be red but you can still put it on um, can I take this off please thank you um, but we can still put it on yes it's gonna say are you sure you want to it, it's made for an older version let's go ahead and click yes you don't care uh, oh that's a little buggy <laughs> we're gonna go a lot of this I'll also take off the shader pack as well um, Go and just turn off shaders here just to see the pack in all of its glory there we go and here we are with a faithful texture pack very nice obviously not as high quality as uh some of the other tax uh, texture packs we've been running but yeah there you go i now have uh minecraft oops excuse me i now have minecraft um faithful edition again this is with uh 128 by 120 i really don't see how it's 128 by 128 it doesn't look great which i mean faithful texture pack was never known for looking super good i guess but um i hate this stupid little glitch here that i get sometimes uh what's some blocks we want to see cobblestone i guess most of the blocks is over there i guess um Let's check out the glass. And check this out. Here we go. Oh, that, that's the wrong thing. You guys have all seen this before, though. Uh, finally, let's check out some of the, like, the crafting table stuff. The, that's some of the, like, the things I love most about, um... Oops, I didn't grab it. Um about Minecraft Faithful is the textures when it comes to a lot of the, like the crafting tables and the chest like look at this man it's it's just nice right it's just nice uh, but yeah so I hope you guys did enjoy the video if you guys did like I said before drop a like on it sub to the channel if you guys are new and turn on post notifications so you guys don't mess on it yeah you know, uploads but like I said I'll go ahead and show you guys one last time before we end the video very quickly I'll go ahead and leave. I'll go ahead and quit this. Um, so again, go to your finder. Uh, and again, if you don't see libraries pop up anywhere, uh, you'll have to go to go, home, right click, show view options, and then make sure show library folder is checkmarked. If it's not, go ahead and do that. You'll see library, double click that, double click application support, double click on Minecraft, and then from here, you guys will be able to um, edit your resource packs, your shader packs. You know, um, this is where you view all your screenshots. So that screenshot I took, it's here. Um, and it's really sick. Oh, another thing. I'm sorry. I just got to mention this real quick. Another thing I love about Mac is if you want like an image, for instance, right? You want as your your main screen, like your, your background, literally just right click and set desktop picture. That's an option. That's really sick. So any picture I have, I can literally just right click and set desktop picture. Like, is that not pretty cool? That's pretty cool. I like that. 
Uh, but yeah, like I said, that's it. Your versions are going to be here, so all your versions that you've loaded up will be here. So I've loaded up, obviously, uh, just uh, Optifine, 1.16.5, and then the, uh, the Snapshot version for 1.17. But yeah, it's as simple as that. Uh, your world saves are going to be here. Uh, I'm sure you guys know about this stuff. This is where people go and, and um, you know, they can edit their players' data and stuff like that. And, um, and do some pretty crazy stuff. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys did enjoy the video. Again, like I said before, if you guys did, drop a like on it. Sub to the channel if you guys are new. And turn on post notifications so you guys don't mess on any future uploads. And again, if you want to see a uh, dedicated tutorial on how to get shader packs, how to download OBS, let me know by leaving a like on the video. Five likes, and I'll do a tutorial on that. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.